All right, so good afternoon, everyone. I welcome you back to my YouTube channel presenting before you this wonderful tutorial is Hampio Kliman. So we have a very wonderful question on projectile motions. And to those of you that are following up, we are doing projectile motions and we're still on projectile motions. And soon we might move to some other practice questions. So we have a very, very uh, good question on, uh, on projectile motion and it says, a playground is on the flat roof of a city school, uh, six meter above the street. The vertical wall of the building is a uh, height of seven meters high to form a one meter high uh, rolling ground, uh, rolling around the playground. Uh, a ball has fallen to the, uh, to the street below and the passerby retains it by launching it at an angle of uh, theta 53 degrees above the horizontal at a point D is equal to 24 meters from the base of the building wall. The ball takes 2.2 seconds to reach a point vertically above the wall. Then they're asking us to find the speed at which the ball was launched. And then they're asking us to find the vertical distance by which the ball uh, clears the wall. So this is the situation that is happening right now. This is the situation. We have a person, we have a ball uh, which, has, which had to drop from off this roof and then it falls to the ground. Then a passerby hits this ball at some angle degree of 53 uh, degrees uh, and it took 2.2 uh, seconds for the ball to simply uh, move up to some height seven meters. So now they want us to find the speed at which the ball was uh, launched. Okay, so the first thing we we'll have to do is simply to uh, align the data for A. Okay, so the data, what do we have? We have the range of We have the range of 24 meters. Then we do have the time of flight of about 2.20 seconds. We have the angle of 53.0 degrees. Okay, so now what then do we do? We know that, we know that the range, we know that the range is given by the Vx, okay, which is the velocity in the x multiplied by the time. So we we'll have to find the velocity in the x. So say over the time of flight, over the time of flight, then of course you have the Vx equal to the x over the time. Okay, so the Vx of course, it's just 24 over 2.2 seconds. Vx is equal to... Okay, so if you divide everything, you are going to get something like 10.9 meters per second. So you have, we have calculated the velocity in the, in the, in the x-axis. Now, what we want to calculate is the velocity at which this ball was, um, uh, at, at this, this ball, the velocity with which the ball was launched with. So to calculate the velocity, we know that, we know that um, Vx or the velocity in the x is given by V, then cosine of the angle theta, we know this, now, we would, what we want to find is this velocity. So, of course, we are going to cancel everything by cosine the angle theta and over cosine the angle theta, even this side. Therefore, when we cancel everything, we discover that the velocity is going to be given by the Vx over cosine the angle theta. So now, therefore, this is just V is equal to what is the velocity in the x? The velocity in the x was simply uh, uh, was simply found to be 10.9 meters per second over 
cosine 53 degrees. Okay? Then, of course, if you punch this, okay, you expect to find something like, it's giving me 18.1 meters per second. Okay, so this is the velocity or the speed at which the ball was launched. Okay, so we can say speed at which ball was launched. Okay, so this, this is how you find this question for, for, for the first part. Of course, let's do the second part. So now for the second part, they are asking us, they are saying, find the vertical distance by which the ball clears the wall. The vertical distance by which the ball clears the wall. Okay, so for this one, our data. So we know that with the velocity in the y is given by Vy is equal to V sine of the angle theta. Then of course we know that, um, we know that the velocity with which it took, because we have found the velocity was, we have found the velocity with which it was launched to be 18.1. So automatically we know that it, um, Vy can also be written as, Vy can also be written as 18.1 sine the angle 53 degrees, like that. Then, of course, we know that the time with which it took was simply 2.20 seconds. Okay, then, of course, we know that we have the acceleration. We're supposed to have some acceleration, which are called as g. Acceleration due to gravity of 9.8 meters per second. And, of course, remember, this is a projectile, so it's going against gravity, so, of course, we put uh, a negative because it we expect it to return back to its initial uh, position. I'm sure you remember the formula that uh, the distance in the y is given by v y v y t v y t minus half g t squared. Okay, I'm sure you remember this formula. But then we want to find the height. So of course it's going to be we, we can now just. Uh, substitute the variables in there. So of course we know that this is just 18.1 uh, sine 53. Okay, sine 53 minus 1 over 2. This is 9.8. Of course this is 2.2 uh, to the power 2 like that. Okay, so we have 18, 18 sine 53. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're supposed to have y is equal to 18.1. Make sure that you don't really skip the time. Don't skip the time. Don't skip the time. Don't avoid, avoid such common mistakes. Okay, so this is 9.8. You you find it wrong if you do that, if you skip the time. Okay, so meaning the distance in the Y, of course, we punch everything. This is 18 sine 53 multiplied by 2.2, which is the time minus 0 0.5 multiplied by 9.8 and 2.2 to the power 2. Okay, so approximately we are getting something like 8.1 meters. But then this is not the final answer. Why? Because in the question, we have been told that the vertical wall of the building is seven meters high. So we want to see the distance with which the ball had cleared the wall. So to find the distance with which the ball had cleared the wall, we are going to say 8.1 minus seven. Okay, 8.1 minus seven. And of course, we get an answer of 1.1 meters so this it was the distance with which the ball had cleared the wall with
thank you so much. Okay, so um, this is just how you solve these questions, very simple. Don't forget to subscribe and also share to others. Thank you so much once more.